they, uh, Mastracchio and Williams spent last night in the Quest airlock in the campout procedure that uh, began uh, the process of uh, removing nitrogen from their bloodstreams in a uh, iterative process uh, that uh, prevents any condition known as the bends from developing. Canadian Space Agency astronaut Dave Williams uh, about to move into the uh, crew lock, the outermost compartment of the Quest airlock, assisted by Clay Anderson. Marine Colonel Charlie Hobaugh, Endeavour's pilot, used to high-performance aircraft, uh, deliberately uh, maneuvering the Canadarm2, the robotic arm from the robotics workstation of the Destiny Laboratory, with the S-5 truss attached uh, to the end of Canadarm2. And now back uh, in the equipment lock of the Quest airlock, Tracy Caldwell on the right, Commander Scott Kelly on the left, having closed the hatch to the crew lock. Standing by for the formal approval uh, to begin the depressurization of the crew lock. A good view of the uh, two-ton S-5 truss affixed to the end of Canadarm2. Pilot Charlie Hobaugh maneuvering uh, this new component for the International Space Station to the pre-installed position at the end of the starboard truss se section of the International Complex. This view uh, showing the S-5 truss moving into position in the pre-installed position uh, to be uh, aligned precisely and then mated to the end of the S-4 truss. Mastracchio on the left, Dave Williams on the right as they uh, assess uh, the position of the soft capture pins. You got it. With the socket. At the end of the S4 truss to which S5 will be uh, attached a short time from now. Mastracchio has uh, verified uh, the correct uh, configuration for the uh, portable foot restraint uh, that has been uh, set up at the end of the S4 truss. I'm going to hand you over to Scorch for the DCA. Trust now within 12 inches of S4. Our mess is break. Tracy, over to you. A good view of uh, Rick Mastracchio as he also uh, prepares to join Dave Williams uh, for the removal of launch locks. They're on opposite sides of the uh, S5 truss segment. This view from Dave Williams' helmet camera as he uh, begins. Uh, the use of a pistol grip tool, 54 turns uh, to remove launch lock number two from its uh, position on the S-5 truss. Again, uh, this view of Rick Mastracchio uh, wearing the suit. The bolt head is reset, or the bolt is reset. Let me just uh, check. 
two shreds of the shoulder, TC. 30 turns total. That's correct. Corner two, course alignment cone is entering the plane. Name the corner, three. Uh, looks like we're going to need a little bit of right, maybe. Just starting the rub. Corner two is going up. Corner three is going up. Yeah. Keep it coming a keep little more. Keep it coming. coming. Two is up. Four is going up. Three keep one more up. George, it looks perfect. perfect. Three is down. Three is down. <clears throat> Corner four is down. Affirmative. We understand all corners are down. I agree. You're correct. Right, give us a second. S5, soft capture to the S4 truss segment. NTC, I'm just heading back. Corner two. If you guys want to check your uh, helmet lights off, uh, you can do that. Okay, stand by. I'm just going to leave mine on. There you are, Rick. Stand, stand by. Right above you. I see it. Okay. Okay, and I'm sorry, one more thing. Did you say you were going to leave this early? I've uh, already picked it up. Okay. All right, corner three is torqued too quick. Uh, barely an eighth of a turn. Copy that, Rick. Help here is empty. BRT is no problem. The relocation of this grapple fixture is required uh, to enable uh, one of the two solar wings, the 3A wing, on the uh, starboard four truss segment. Uh, the beta gimbal assembly must rotate uh, to enable the uh, solar array to position itself uh, properly in relation to being able to track the sun. And we're watching your clearances with the solar array box. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, I feel motion. Williams uh, carefully uh, maneuvering the uh, grapple fixture and its frame this is taking me away. over to the uh, keel side of the S5 truss. Okay. All right. As you can see, there are actually two grapple fixtures. One uh, was grappled uh, by the shuttle robotic arm to lift the S5 out of Endeavour's payload bay yesterday. The other grapple fixture was used uh, to hand off uh, this uh, S5 truss segment uh, from the shuttle arm to the station arm yesterday. The crew has uh, moved on to some get-ahead tasks and uh, in the process a uh, get-ahead task to make S5 to S4 umbilicals. This is a uh, get-ahead task to set the stage for the um, arrival of the S6 uh, solar array pair scheduled for next year. Is that the uh, even corner? J40 rotated. Here comes the odd side. 43 and 45. Four hours, 15 minutes into the spacewalk, this view of Rick Mastracchio on the outside of the International Space Station, clearing uh, all of his tethers from the work area. Hey guys, take one second. You, we're passing uh, very close to uh, where we launched from. Cool. Great view of it. Can you guys see it? Looking. Just waving at everybody. Florida. Pretty cool. Inside the Quest Airlock Shuttle Commander Scott Kelly along with uh, Expedition 15 Flight Engineer Clay Anderson uh, assisting Rick Mastracchio uh, who's climbed out of the upper portion of his spacesuit now uh, with uh, the cleanup activities after today's uh, six hour 17 minute spacewalk.